right, hello. Uh, my name is Haley Keeley. I'm gonna do a little slideshow here on health and nutrition. And I hope you learn something new. Uh, I'm a personal trainer, fitness nutrition specialist, behavior change specialist, and a weight management specialist. If you have any questions, you can put them in the chat. And then at the end, I will have time to answer any questions you have. Hopefully I can answer them. Um, if not, I'll find the answer and get back to you. All right. So the first uh, slide here is talking about the dietary guidelines. Um, the first guideline is to make half your plate fruits and vegetables at mealtime. Um, number two, make at least half your grains, whole grains. Um, I think you should make more than half of your grains, whole grains. I think you should try and make all of your grains, whole grains if you can. Three, um, eat less unhealthy fat. Um, so that would be uh, what they call saturated fat. Um, you're supposed to have less than 10% or less than 30 grams, however you wanna do it. Um, in saturated fat per day. And that's the same with number four, eat less added sugar. You should try and keep that around 30 grams or less. Number five, eat less salt. Um, you're supposed to keep it under 2,300 milligrams per day. If you have high blood pressure, you probably want to keep it under 1,500 milligrams per day. Number six, vary your protein routine. Um, I'm gonna add to that. I'm gonna say choose lean proteins. And we'll talk a little more about that right now. All right, so proteins. Um, it gives your body vitamins and minerals as well as the protein. Uh, you vary your protein routine to get this nutrient from many different kinds of sources. Um, so there's nine amino acids and you have to make sure you're getting from all nine amino acids, especially if you're a vegetarian, that can be hard. Um, and then some examples, beef, low fat, chicken, preferably chicken breasts, um, turkey, pork, lamb, a lot of fish, nuts, seeds, beans, um, and tofu are all great, um, ways to get protein. All right, next we'll go to grains. Um, it gives your body complex com carbohydrates. So simple carbohydrates are like the sugars and things that really aren't good for you. Um, so you need the whole grains to give you those complex carbs, vitamins, and minerals. Um, we already talked about how you should be eating whole grains. Uh, they also provide fiber. Some examples are oatmeal, brown rice, rice, whole wheat pasta, quinoa, wheat germ, whole wheat bread, whole wheat tortillas. All right, fruits. They also give your body complex carbohydrates. We need carbohydrates because that's what gives us energy. Um, so it's very important to make sure you're getting those during the day. Um, they also have vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Eating a variety helps you get key nutrients to be healthy. Along with vegetables, they should make up half of your plate. Examples, apples, oranges, grapefruits, peaches, plums, cherries, kiwis, berries, starfruit, figs, mangoes. Uh, this says 100% fruit juices, but I would say just stay away from the fruit juice because you're getting more calories with less vitamins and minerals. So it's always better to do the actual whole fruit, in my opinion. Um, they always say to eat your colors. So like, you know, you want to eat red fruits, orange fruits, yellow, green, you know, you want to eat that rainbow, rainbow of colors. And that goes for vegetables too, which is our next one. Um, get, they also give your body complex carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Uh, vegetables tend to be less calories than fruits. So a lot of times instead of having maybe like a fourth of your plate, fruits, a fourth vegetable, some people might make their whole, um, that whole side of their plate, the vegetables, which is fine. 
Um, eating vegetables of different colors, like I mentioned, is a good way to get a wide range of nutrients along with fruits should make up half of your plates. And some examples, spinach, kale, broccoli, collard greens, carrots, sweet potatoes, chili peppers, eggplant, squash, corn, lima beans, potatoes, beets, cauliflower, and zucchini. Just a second. Somebody wants to get on. I gave them this. All right. And then dairy. Dairy gives your body protein, vitamins, and minerals. So being a vegetarian, I'll sometimes, whoop, a couple people on here. Um, so sometimes I'll use my dairy as my protein. Um, and you wanna make sure like, so if you're having like milk, that's your dairy. You probably don't need to add a lot of cheese to your me meal unless um, you don't have any other protein. You know, you don't wanna have like, you wanna make sure you're just getting like, and I'll show you in a little bit, but like the serving sizes. Um, so dairy includes foods that provide calcium. Foods that do not have calcium are not considered part of this group. Choose low fat or non-fat options to help limit unhealthy fats. Uh, so no vitamin D milk. Examples are milk, cheese, yogurt, cottage cheese, puddings made with milk, sugar-free would be better, and calcium fortified soy milk. All right, our next. All right, so this is kind of a guide to portion control. Um, so you see um, the pasta, how it's supposed to just be your um, knuckle there. Here's a second. Um, did anybody else need a password? No. Oh, let me see if I can find it real fast. <laughs> Um, uh, um, Let me. Um, hmm, I don't know. Oh, go back. Can't go back. Um, I think I found it. All right, next one. And Skylar, I am not sure. All right. So let me put my presentation back up here. All right. Wait, no, because I need to go back. Yeah, okay. Now I got it.
All right. Here we go. So I am going to go ahead and start with this page. Um, all right, so food labels. Food labels help you choose foods that are low in health, unhealthy fat, added sugar, and salt. Compare the nutrient content of different foods and identify recommended serving sizes and identify calories per serving. I like to look at food labels when I'm grocery shopping and I think I probably drive my family nuts because it ends up taking a lot longer, <laughs> but I like to know what I'm eating, so. All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit about calories. A calorie is the amount of energy in a food. The number of calories you need depends on your age, sex, and how physically active you are. And active, um, this says high school students because this was made for high schoolers, but um, just in general people. Need between 1,800 and 2,400 calories a day. Um, active people may need more. I actually try and stay under 1,800. Um, the lowest you would ever want to go is about 1,200, but I like to stay around 15, 16, 1,700 in there. But it's different for everybody. So, all right, use your daily calories to keep the nutrients you need to keep your body strong and healthy. So what I was saying is uh, use your calories well. Um, get as many foods with nutrients as you can to help your body um, instead of foods that have no nutrients that are not helping you at all. I always kind of use the analogy of think of a car. Um, you don't wanna put crappy gas in your car because then it's not gonna run as well. You wanna put the really good stuff in so it'll run well. Kind of the same with us. All right, so I was gonna talk a little bit about calories and macros. Macros are carbs, proteins, and fat. Um, generally, they say your daily diet should be about 40% complex carbs, 25% lean protein, and 35% uh, healthy fats. Um, but that it's, it's kind of different depending on the person. And some people cut down those carbs if they're trying to lose weight. Um, but you still want to make sure that you're getting them in your diet. All right. So when it comes to calories, protein has what's called four kilocalories per gram. Carbs have four kilocalories per gram. And fats have nine kilocalories per gram. Alcohol has seven. Um, so as an example, Coke has 65 grams of sugar. So what I would do is take um, that 65 times the four, because carbs have four kilocalories, and then I get 260 calories, and that's how many calories are in a can of Coke. So that's kind of how they get that. And as you know, you have to burn off these calories or else you will gain weight. All right, so here's a label. Um, at the top, you always have how many servings per container and then the serving size. Serving size is always important to look at because you don't want to be eating more than the serving size. Um, and then um, calories per serving. Um, and if you eat like two servings, you wanna make sure you're doubling those calories. Um, then we have the total fats. Uh, we don't want a lot of saturated fats in there. Like I said earlier, 30 grams or less. Um, you don't see a lot of trans fats anymore, which is good. But a lot of times you'll see polyunsaturated or monounsaturated fats. And those are your healthy fats, the ones that you can have and should have a little bit. And those are what's in like oils and avocado and nuts and all that. Uh, then we have the cholesterol and sodium. And like I said, you want to stay under 2,300. Um, so if I see something that's really high in sodium, I'm going to be less likely to buy it. And then we have um, our total carbohydrates. Um, when it comes to that, I always like to kind of skip down to that added sugars. Um, and if it has more than like five, six grams of added sugars, I usually um, will forego that. And then protein, um, I like to look at too. 
um, to make sure I'm getting enough. Mm -hmm. And then the vitamins and minerals, of course, are oh, something good to look at. Oh, maybe it is on. All right. Here, I'm gonna un or I'm gonna mute everybody here. All right. Oh, sorry. Pushing the buttons. Now I gotta go back. All right. All right. So ingredients. So now we're going to talk about the little ingredient box that's underneath the label. Um, all of packaged foods ingredients must be listed, listed in order from most to least, from the most to least amount. It can help you see what's in a food to find out if it's a healthy choice. Uh, can help people with food allergies avoid certain ingredients. All right, so you need to watch for added sugars because sometimes they like to sneak them in. So words ending in os, like sucrose, fructose, lactose, maltose, dextrose, and glucose are all different forms of sugar. If it has corn sweetener, high fructose corn syrup's a big one. I try to avoid that one as much as I can. So like applesauce, supposed to be healthy, has high fructose corn syrup. So you wanna get like the unsweetened sweetened applesauce and stuff. Um, honey, molasses, brown sugar, they're all added sugars. Um, honey's probably the least evil. I mean, it's still gonna give you a lot of calories, but at least it's more all natural. Um, so if any of these appear near the top of the ingredient list or several of them are listed, the food is high in added sugars. So you're gonna wanna stay clear. All right, so let's look at these two types of crackers here. If you see the whole wheat crackers on the left, there's not very many ingredients and that's a good thing. Um, and, and when you look at them, they're all things that you know and can pronounce. So those are the type of ingredients that you wanna look for. If you look at the crackers on the right, you can see that it's got a ton of stuff, some things, you probably have no clue what they are. Um, so those are kind of the things that you wanna stay away from. All right. So healthy diets versus bad diets. So we've just been talking about the healthy diets. Um, fad diets generally don't work. Um, they're very hard to maintain, especially if it's asking you to take out a food group and really you shouldn't go without the food group because as we just learned, they all have vitamins and minerals and things that we need. Um, so you should never have to take out a whole food group. And it's also really hard to do. Um, like if you're taking bread out of your diet and you really like to eat bread, like you're probably not going to be able to sustain it. So you kind of have to be realistic. Um, it's probably better just to lower your calories. Um, a lot of people do lose weight at first when they do fad diets, but it's generally short term and they're probably not going to see um, in the future a lot of um, um, maintaining of it. Um, so one, there's one diet that I would say is good and it's the Mediterranean diet, mostly because if you look at studies, people in the Mediterranean, um, tend to be healthier and have a longer, um, lifespan. And it's because they eat a lot of, um, fish and greens and stuff. Um, so, um, that one's all right, but all the other ones I would stay away from if I were you, um, and just stick to those healthy guidelines that we went over. All right. So I'm going to show you a couple websites here. Can you guys see the website? I'm going to take that as a yes. All right. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. So this is the um, 
myplate.gov, as you can see, it's made by the USDA, which is a government um, website. So, you know, it's gonna be good. Um, if you click here, eat healthy, it kind of, it's gonna kind of talk about some of the things we just talked about. Um, you can look at the different life stages. There's resources. We're gonna look at the tools here pretty soon. Um, professionals, not sure what that is, but then you can see there's recipes. So a good resource for healthy recipes. Um, so I'm gonna go to the tools here. Um, there's a My Plate plan that you can do. Uh, shows your food group targets, but and how much you eat within your calorie allowance. Um, so that's something that's worth taking a look at. Uh, looks like there's an app, there's a quiz, some other quizzes. <laughs> um, so that's a good website to look at. Um, down here, there's like fruits, vegetables, and so on. And you can read more. So that's a good website to use. Uh, let me find. Oh, here it is. Okay. The next one is called tinyhabits.com. It really doesn't have a whole lot to do with nutrition, but it could. Um, I've never tried it, but if you sign up and you can do this little free five-day program where you set up a goal and then you practice a new habit to try and make it a habit. So anyway, if somebody tries that, they can let me know how it goes. All right, and then I just put my Facebook page on here so you can share it with people and I can get more likes. All right, so yeah, that was it for my slideshow. I don't know if uh, anybody had any questions, but now would be the time to ask them. No questions? <laughs> All righty. Well, I hope you enjoyed and if you end up having any questions, you can send me a message and I can answer them. And people who did not watch it live can also um, send me a message if they have questions or comments. Um, and that was it. So thank you for coming to my slideshow.